Pictures shot by GBC show smugglers working in groups, moving back and forth from the frontier at Eastern Beach, hurling boxes of tobacco under the fencing. Spanish registered vehicles drive back and forth to the beach drop-off point, and the smugglers arrive by jumping over the frontier fence. When the police arrives, they try to elude them by hiding amongst the buildings on the beach itself. In Western Beach, there are similar operations. These happen in broad daylight and with alarming regularity. Every day at the GBC newsroom, we receive report after report uh, of uh, tobacco-related offences and arrests. So it's not as if the authorities aren't doing anything about it, but uh, because of the increasing economic problems uh, and resulting unemployment across the border, this activity is bound to continue. In reply to GBC questions, a customs spokesman confirmed that tobacco smuggling is definitely on the rise in areas like Eastern Beach, Western Beach and the North Mole. He highlighted the numerous arrests in recent months, but pointed out that officers are heavily outnumbered by the increasing number of Spaniards taking to this activity as a means of earning a living. The spokesman added that customs officers are regularly pelted with stones and said the potential for violence is getting higher and higher all the time. Well, in some instances, I think, frankly, the activity is quite disgraceful and it really does not bode well for Gibraltar to have that sort of activity going on. That is why one of the first things I did last year was to actually certify different areas as zones where customs officers and police officers actually have even more powers than they usually have under the Tobacco Act. So in the areas next to the frontier, in the areas down Winston Churchill Avenue, in the areas down Tower Road and at Eastern Beach, I signed into law specific areas where the police officers and customs officers there can stop and search people or move people on. That's a draconian power and I signed that into law late last year in order to ensure that that sort of activity can be curtailed by police and customs officers. But of course, the situation in Spain is economically so dire that unless we have half our police force down there, half our customs force down there, it's sometimes very difficult to be controlling every single instance of the sort of smuggling that's going on, which is entirely unacceptable to this government. The GSD says people have reported this activity at the beaches and eyewitnesses have also seen fast launch activity and during the night the vessels travel without lights and at a fast speed. The opposition considers that this activity has the potential of severely damaging Gibraltar's reputation. Uh, we have a situation where the situation has not got better, it's got worse. And, uh, you know, executive members from the, G from the GSD have also been uh, at the site in order to make our own minds about what is going on. And uh, I have to say that uh, we were horrified at what was going on in broad daylight at Eastern Beach with people just simply walking uh, and running across the runway to deliver boxes to the other side of the, of the frontier fence with cars coming I in and out of the area on the signal of lookouts wearing balaclavas. I mean, this is the kind of thing that does Gibraltar a lot of damage indeed. Do you feel that by bringing this issue to uh, the public's attention, you're doing Gibraltar a disservice internationally, you're bound to get criticised for that? Well, if I could get criticised, so be it. I mean, at the end of the day, that I am not going to allow politicians from Spain or indeed the Spanish media to dictate how I and the opposition in Gibraltar, Her Majesty's opposition of Gibraltar, conduct politics here. Look, I am not afraid of being the lonely voice in the desert if I believe that what I am saying, and my colleagues likewise, if we believe that what we are saying is, uh, is uh, uh, for the benefit of Gibraltar, and we need to say what, you know, we need to be making the point. But the Chief Minister says it's politically hypocritical of the opposition to suggest that smuggling never happened during the GSD's time. He says the authorities have never been better resourced than they are now, with two high-speed vessels as well as a larger launch and more on the way. Well, you know, it's always uh, surprising to see the opposition comment on 
tobacco because of course there was a huge growth in the tobacco trade at the time that the GSD were in administration. Uh, but you know, I, I'm surprised that Daniel Feetham has called for us to give effect to this particular manifesto commitment, which is actually one which is very advanced. You may have seen, and if Daniel Feetham had gone down to Eastern Beach, he would have seen, that an area has been carved out of the East Side Reclamation. Now, we have just acquired the East Side Reclamation, as you know, less than uh, two months ago, but that area was already being worked on. It's the area which is being used by the company that is creating the uh, the pro coastal protection works off Sandy Bay that has already created what will be the marine base for law enforcement on the east side of Gibraltar. Mr Picardo says the opposition's intention must therefore be to create political mischief in Gibraltar which gives ammunition to Spain.